Hey, it's Michelle. Welcome back to episode five of Lucy and the Vampires. Uh, this isn't Lucy in front of us. This is Penelope, uh, one of Lucy's housemates and vampire housemates to be more specific. Last episode was a big day. Uh, Lucy requested to be turned into a vampire by Apuleius, her other housemate. She is currently kind of beginning that transition period, but I thought it might be neat to introduce a couple of the older vampires, right? Our other cast of characters. Penelope is, well, let me tell you about her traits, just so you can find out a little bit more about her. Penelope is self-absorbed. She is romantic, she is evil, and she is alluring. Uh, Penelope has had an interesting history. She isn't quite ready to talk about it yet. Maybe she'll share it with Lucy over some com conversation. But Penelope... Mm. Penelope well, likes the romance. Yep. She is a vivacious woman. A former... She would say is still current, but certainly a former socialite. So let's, uh... Let's see what she does in an evening. It's 12.30 in the morning. She's already drank today. She drank the heck out of Dominic Fire's blood. I think she'd very much like to have a mate, a vampire mate. But in the meantime, she's an alluring lady. And who is well able to fascinate men and women alike. Let's see. J with no other name. Let's see. Friendly. Fish for compliments. That that's how Penelope is. And oh my gosh, she looks like such a preppy dude. OJ. She also hissed at him, which might be a little shocking, but he doesn't seem that that, you know, put off by it. He's a bro. Vampire, let's see. Detect personality. Why don't you just cut to the chase? Oh, he's non-committal. Well... You know, food doesn't have to be committal. Food doesn't have to be committal at all. <laughs> Food? Oh, let's stargaze. Why doesn't she ask him to stargaze? Oh, yeah. Because lying down on a pub lawn is exactly the way to a man's heart. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get to things they can talk about while still. No, they pretty much just have to. All right. They should just. They'll just stargaze. It's a pleasant thing. Yeah, keep walking, lady. Keep walking, warm blood. That's right, Paolo, you missed out. Alright, they've had a they've had a nice time. I think she's gonna compliment his outfit. Ah, it's raining. She's not a big fan of that. For her hair and her dress. Oh, 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 that happened. That was unpleasant. I think she did something evil. Uh, you know what? This warm blood had the temerity to kind of snark at her. She isn't exactly in the mood to deal with that. Look at that. She is ready to jeer. Ooh, you're a baby with your diaper. Oh, 
Oh, he's embarrassed. Well, she's fine with that. She's like, food. Food is stupid. Goodbye, food. Yeah. Warm blood. And now my hair is wrecked and my dress is kind of gooey and, uh First, I'm going home. I'm going home. Yep, she's going inside. Where is her master? She wants to talk to her master. Oh, he's playing chess. Perfect. Come talk to her sire. It, it's not impossible for the two of them to be together. It's just... It's odd. It would be odd. It would be odd to both of them because they think of themselves in this father-daughter sense. So, yes. He is off the table. He's also really into being in his swimsuit. He likes comfort. Ha! Mech. So much better. At home, she can have intelligent conversations. They've been playing chess for a very long time and she very rarely wins. So while she starts to feel a little better, let's check in with Lucy. Lucy is up on her computer. Did Lucy oh look! <gasps> Lucy has her neck bite! Check it out! Her little neck bite, that's amazing! Lucy has read books. She has work in six hours. You know, how about you uh no, not a genre book. Why don't you practice writing? There you go. Get some practice in. Ooh. Starting to feel a little weird there, Lucy, aren't you? Strangely hungry. Appetite increasing, but not really for food. I thought I heard a pulley has come in, which means he was probably a little bummed that she was on the computer. He really loves her computer. We may have to get him his own laptop. Or she'll never get the chance to write. Yeah, because her vampire sire wants to uh, come up and play Blick Block all the time. Like an ancient vampire do. Hungry, but not for food. Let's see how her mood is doing. She's peckish. But, and she's level three. That's wonderful. Let's see, let, let's see how food... You know, she's kind of thinking food, but not food. It's it's a strange situation. So she should just have a quick meal. Maybe have applesauce, something small. In this fancy mansion with the candlelight, she's just tossing back some applesauce. But look at that face. She's not, she's not really into food right now, is she? She's like, ooh. This physical sustenance, blah. Not feeling too good. Is this part of the change? Is this part? Disgusted by food. All of this food tastes awful. What's happening? This cannot be good. <laughs> Penelope. Let's talk about baseball. Look how much friendlier she is with Lucy now, now that Lucy is in transition. They're talking about vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Neatness. Neatness. Penelope is like, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. I remember, I remember my own change. You're very lucky. Enjoy it, dear. Oh, ah. It's Lucy's mother. It's Lucy's mother and Lucy just left for work. And Lucy just left for work. Oh my God. Penelope. Oh man, she's so evil too. Oh gosh. Oh, Penelope. Apolius needs to stop playing Blick Block for two minutes. Why, hello. Oh, your daughter looks so much like you. Let's 
put him in a, in a, in a more normal outfit. Oh, they're talking about science. Discuss the best violinist. How interesting. His 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 daughter's mother. Louise is like, well, tell her I'll uh, I'll come back again. I'll come back and visit again. Thank you. It's so nice to see you both again. Now, why are you lingering, Louisa? Oh, nope, she is lingering. To come play chess with Penelope. Oh, excellent. Oh, God, Penelope, how is your thirst going? When does Lucy get back from work? Until 7. It's, it's 12.30 now. Your daughter looks so much like you. She's so lucky. <laughs> you must be where Lucy inherited, from where Lucy inherited her, her logical, incisive mind. Wonderful, what an excellent chess player you are. Zombo You're clearly as intelligent as you are lovely. Louisa may not have noticed that she was being flirted with or just didn't mind it or, you know, what's well, a bit of flirting. <laughs> Let's play another game. The rain, it's still pouring outside. You should sit out the weather with Apuleius and I. She's like, Apuleius? What kind of name is that? Oh, it's, it's foreign. Foreign, dear. I'll let him tell his own tale. Ah, uh, Louise is thinking about Penelope. Talk about violining. Talk about violining. I literally just said violining. Get to know. Talk about violin. Yes. Ask about career. Oh. Discuss logic puzzles. Ah, Louisa is cheerful. A police is sitting right there drinking a blood Capri Sun. Oh, oh, oh. Employ. Oh my, Penelope is kind of flirting hard. Oh, tell me about oh. yourself, dear. Oh, are you? <laughs> I know you're uh, still. Uh, is your? Is there a Mister Cabrillo? <gasps> Louise is not single. Wait a minute. What? What? <laughs> How is Louise a single? I, I don't even know what to say to that. Except I probably screwed up in Cass and didn't make her and Hector married. Which I have done so many times before with other families. Oh well. Penelope, this is going to be your, your sister's. 
Yeah, yeah, this name. this is not a smart <laughs> idea. For real? Huh. Bright and day. Heartfelt compliment. Uh, you know, it's so true that humans with a little <laughs> age on them are so much more interesting. Oh. This is, of course, Penelope's Penelope's view. You know, more more life experiences, more seasoning. Oh, oh, Just much more, more tales to tell. Oh, but yes, it was very nice seeing you, me, Louisa. Uh, Penelope is taking off very quickly because otherwise she is gonna either chomp down on Louisa's neck or make overtures that probably would not make. That would not make Lucy very happy. Oh, look, it's a mini human. Run inside. Lucy, go inside. Go inside. Go inside. There's a toddler. Pocket human. What's she supposed to do with the pocket human? Oh, she's getting really thirsty. Hello. Hello, very pretty woman. So, but Dominic is here. Let's talk to him. Discuss interests. Let's see. Ask about career. <sighs> Penelope is starting to look a little worse for wear there. She's, she's always very pretty, but she's starting to get a little hungry. Just a little hungry. She's gonna... These two are probably safe. Because she, it's gonna be another 11 hours until she is completely parched. Oh, wow. He is suddenly not very fond of Penelope. Oh, pocket human. She, she is, oh, Apui has reached mischief level three. Great job. He can ask due date on Sims who aren't pregnant and he can dare Sims to streak. He can kick over trash cans, make prank phone calls, stomp in puddles. Goodness gracious. Penelope, what you doing? Oh, well, Penelope is frustrated. Oh, wow. She really thought Louisa was interesting. And now she's here and it's sunny. And there's a very pretty woman here, but there's also a toddler. Whatever they're called. Yes, toddler. So frustrating. Wait. Someone else is entering. Who is it? It's... Go make a cheerful introduction. Who's this? <gasps> Siobhan. Siobhan fires. Let's go see what's up with Siobhan. You know, I'm wondering if this whole family might not work out well as thralls. <laughs> I know that sounds so cold-blooded. And this may be why they were thrown out of their last nexus. Her and Apuleius. Because they're not in Forgotten Hollow, you know, because they desperately want it to be. God, she's so hungry. Drink. Just drink. The pocket human is in another room. Oh, he's not thrilled. Oh gosh, we just gave a toddler nightmares. Excellent. Much, much better. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. You know you have to brush your teeth. The humans get all strange. Oh. Boy, she feels a lot better now. 
so much better. Youthful glow. Youthful happy glow once again. Oh, she needs to remember this family. This is a very handy family. And now it's home again. Ah, oh, Lucy's back. Let's all go inside. What you up to, Luce? Lucy is hungry but doesn't know what to do about it. Her sire is checking in. How how do you feel? Oh. It's like I can see the change. I can see the change coming in you. I can see it. Most excellent. And given that, what's going to happen now is Apuleius is allowing access to the household. Penelope is also allowing access to the household. Only the household. Like, Louisa wouldn't be able to wander into anywhere. But now, Penelope can read a book. Or excuse me, not Penelope. Lucy can read a book. I still can't believe that dude stole her vampire tome. You know, that's part of the reason why she is going to turn his family into thralls. Penelope. Because she heard that, that Damien... Damien Fires uh, stole Lucy's book. And she's not sure what she thinks about Lucy, but it's, you know, Lucy's part of the nest now, or will be. She's a very junior part of the nest, but she's still part of the nest. She's like, my sister, you may wish to have Whatever food you most favor now. Ah, pampini. What food? <laughs> After your change, dear, you won't be interested in the food of. See, see, you already have left the food of mortality behind. I think Lucy's sort of as excited as she is to become a vampire. She's thinking about, you know, her mother's tamales and her father's grilling and how much her life is going to change oh she's straight up nauseated now can't eat food appetite lost from slipping humanity nothing fills this empty stomach anymore lucy you should probably i know you want to you want to read for work but you need to sleep you need to sleep there we go bubble bath relaxing she's hungry but she can't imagine eating oh she's ravenous in 12 hours i don't know that she's gonna last 12 more hours as a human especially when foods make you her so nauseated let's see what she chooses to do cooking. I think the smell, the, even the smell alone is making her feel just so sick. Oh, and now she's on fire. Well, that's not something we wanted to have happen. Extinguish yourself. Replace. Replace. Lucy? Wait. The, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The, the shock of it. Look at Lucy, she's a vampire! Lucy? <laughs> Lucy is a very, very fried vampire. Oh no! <laughs> the fire must have triggered it. Well, I think we're gonna have a bit of a spin off here in that I am going to, uh, obviously, her sense of style may change a bit. I, we know it's gonna change a bit. We know full well it's going to change a bit. So I think uh, we're going to call it here and let Lucy go kind of chill out a little bit from having caught on fire and turned into a vampire. 
watch for a second kind of a spin-off video it's going to be a lucy cast video where we're going to give her a new look and maybe check out some of apuleius's and penelope's looks as well but primarily we want to give lucy a good sartorial start to her vampire life hey thank you so much for following along in lucy's journey uh she's now a full-fledged vampire well a baby vamp but she is a vamp thank you again and i will see you next time